In this video, we'll look at Sakai's email tool and a related tool called Email Archive. With Sakai's email tool, you can send an email to everyone in the class or to selected students. To use the tool, just click on Email in the course menu. To email the whole class, you would just check the box here beside All. But let's say you want to just email a few particular students instead. To do that, click on Roles, then click on Student, and then select the particular students you want to email. Like any email, you type in a subject line. You can attach a file if you want. And then type your message in the box. At the bottom, there's an option here to send me a copy. We recommend that you check this box. Sakai does not maintain a sent items folder like your email program does, but if you check this box, you will receive a copy for your records via email. There are two other options here. We'll get to those in a moment, but for now I'll just click on send mail and a confirmation appears letting me know my message was sent. Let's send another message. I click on compose and I'll check beside all this time to send the message to the whole class. I'll put in a subject and a message. Notice that when we address an email to everyone, Sakai checks all three of these boxes for us. So the sender will get a copy, which is always good. Also, a list of recipients will be appended to the message. Be aware that when using Sakai's email tool, all recipients will be blind copied. This is for privacy reasons, so each person's email address is not seen by everyone else. But as a result, students may not know that a message went to the whole class. They may think it was sent only to them, which could cause confusion. By checking this box, you are letting students know who else besides them the message was sent to. The box in the middle says Add to Email Archive. So what is the Email Archive? The Email Archive is a place in your course that lists emails that you've sent to the class. So if I send this message with the box check to Add to Email Archive, and then click on Email Archive, the message I just sent appears here. So why is this useful? Well, do you ever have students say, what email? I never got that email. When that happens, you can tell the students to go look in the email archive in the Sakai site where they can find copies of messages you've sent to the class. The email archive has another function too. It provides a mailing list address for your course site. This address is shown at the top of the email archive tool in your site. Any emails that you send to this address will be sent to all participants in the site and will be archived here in the email archive. So how is this useful? Well, do you ever receive emails about things like campus events or scholarships that you need to pass on to your students? If so, you can do that from your email program without ever going to Sakai. Simply forward the email to the e email archive address for your course and the email will go to everyone in your course. And it will be recorded here in the email archive in Sakai. Note that only the instructor can send email to the course email archive or to the course mailing list. One final note, when sending email in Sakai, if you click the Add to Email box here at the bottom, just remember that the message will be recorded in the email archive where all students can see it. So be sure not to check this box if you're sending a private message to just one or maybe a few students. Check the box only on emails that you are sending to everyone or on messages it's okay for everyone to see. I hope this video helped you understand the email and email archive.